Human rights advocates, non-governmental organizations have gathered for the presentation of the latest report of the Amnesty International. According to the Human Rights Organization, the report is based on 126 interviews, including 82 survivors, which was conducted in person in Northeast Nigeria and remotely between 2019 and 2024. The report highlights the gravity of the situation. Girls and young women who escape Boko Haram captivity in the Northeast face further suffering, including sometimes unlawful detention. In addition to this, they are not receiving adequate support as they attempt to rebuild their lives. Their unique experiences need special attention that is not there yet. Most of these girls and young women were interviewed during two research trips to Maiduguri in uh, 2023. Others were interviewed during two research trips, one in late 2019, one in early 2020 to both Borno and Adamawa states. The Nigerian military has referred to our sources as intrinsically unreliable. As you can tell, our sources were primarily survivors. They speak from their own experiences and they are experts on what they went through. Calling them intrinsically unreliable shows a lack of respect that the Nigerian military seems to have for these Boko Haram survivors. The activists consider the situation a shameful business and call for action to protect the victims. What civil society can do is exactly to bring credible research evidence to show gaps, to show challenges, and recommend to the policymakers and uh, legislators so that they can take necessary action and also advise the security on how best they can also carry out their work with human rights mindset. Meanwhile, the defense headquarters maintains that the armed forces has zero tolerance for indiscipline and any form of improper conduct during operations across the country. A statement from the Director of Defense Media Operations, Major General Edward Buba, states that there are standing court marshals to treat any form of misbehavior by airing personnel, especially those that portray the military negatively to the general populace. Benny Ock, Channels Television News.